You can find him in the desert, you can find him by the sea. He'll climb a rocky mountain, he will nap under a tree. If you come along with pups, it's about discovery. So let's hit the trail to see what we will see. Well, hey, grandchildren, it's Pops. And today, the trail brings us to the Arizona desert. You can tell it's the Arizona desert because there's a big thorny sorrel cactus right next to me. But today, we're going to learn about an animal that lives here in the Arizona desert. In fact, there's more of these in Arizona than any other state in the country. Can you tell me what it is? It slithers on the ground. It doesn't have any feet. That's right, it's a snake. And today we're going to learn about a special kind of snake known as a rattlesnake. And we made a new friend, Mr. Brian, who's an expert on rattlesnakes, and he's going to tell us everything he knows. Let's talk to Mr. Brian. My name is Brian Hughes, and my job is to look for, study, and save reptiles. That's snakes and lizards. A herpetologist is a scientist that studies reptiles and amphibians. Those are frogs and snakes and lizards. Uh, we spend a lot of our time out in the desert looking for these animals and when we find them it makes us really excited. So if we find a snake at somebody's house I have to be very careful because snakes get scared of people really easily and if they get scared they might try to bite just like your puppy or your kitty might. So I have to be very careful. I use certain tools so that I can catch it safely and make sure that nobody gets hurt. So it's important to keep snakes safe, even though that they could be potentially dangerous if we're not careful, because they're a very important part of the natural environment here. They also do things like eat other animals that might cause diseases that make us really sick. So a lot of people don't like snakes, I understand, but if they were gone, we would really miss them because a lot of us would start getting sick. So it's very important to be kind to them and to save them whenever we can. So rattlesnakes are found all over the United States, except for just a few of the coldest states, all the way from Canada all the way down to the Mexican border. Arizona has more rattlesnakes than anywhere. We have 13 species here. That's why I call it home and I'll never move. So snakes really like to use rocky environments. It's because they're cold blooded. So like us, we make our warmth from inside. Snakes are reptiles, so they have to get their warmth from somewhere else. So if they can find rocky areas, it really helps them stay warm and also stay cool by hiding under it. So in general, the more rocks you might have in an area, the more snakes you might find. So not all snakes are dangerous. There's a lot of them that they might bite you and make a little pinch or something like that, but they're not going to have any venom or really hurt you too bad. Rattlesnakes and a few others on the other hand, like copperheads, cottonmouths, and coral snakes, are ones that have venom. And venomous animals, if they do bite you, that can hurt you really bad. So they need to be avoided at all costs. So if someone that you know is scared of snakes, just tell them that, hey, that snake is really, really scared of you. Did you know that you're a monster to that snake? And sometimes it makes you have a similar feeling as the snake and you can understand it a little better. This is Zelda. And Zelda is a western diamondback rattlesnake. She was found in a backyard in Anthem, Arizona 12 years ago. So she's pretty old. She was an adult when we found her. And the reason that we have her is because when we got her, she was very pregnant. Rattlesnakes give live birth to babies. They don't lay eggs. They give live birth and they're actually good mothers. So we knew that when she had those babies, she was going to want to hang out with them for a while before we let them all go. But when we let them go, they were developing the area and putting in a new block of homes. So she had no home to go to anymore. So now she lives with us and she helps teach people all about snakes and how to be safe around them. Well, hey, grandchildren, it's Pops. And we learned a lot about rattlesnakes today where they live, how to safely move them, and thank you to Mr. Brian for being an expert and telling us all he knew about rattlesnakes. Now it's time to go, but remember our motto here at Pops on the Trail, go outside and play, just not with rattlesnakes. So let's hit the trail and see what we find tomorrow. <laughs>